Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the headline. And then it, the first option will come where you can see the, the uh, icon and the text. And when I click, it will show you the second option. Then the third option, the fourth option, and if you have enough space you can add some more also or you can add two or three also so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size make it no outline and bring in the center go to insert again shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle at this side and make it fully curved shape outline you can make it no outline and press ctrl D once again reduce the size a little bit and give a different color and put it here make sure it aligned properly and then go to insert shapes select this block arc and hold the shift key and reduce the size this much and put it here shape outline make it no outline zoom the slide a little bit and then I'm going to add one more rectangle draw the rectangle exactly the same size and again make this also no outline and zoom further and make sure that this is aligned perfectly with the block arc i think this is okay and then i'm going to insert one oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you will get the perfectly rounded circle and this also you make it no outline and then go to insert shapes draw a uh, select a triangle draw the triangle rotate it to flip vertical again zoom it make it no outline and then bring it here so that you'll get this shape for example if i change this color something like this so make sure that this is perfectly aligning with the circle and this also you hold the alt key while reducing the size and give the same color or you can select both these of this object and say union but still this is not aligned properly you have to spend a little bit more time in aligning I think this is okay now select both this object go to format and say union and you got this object increase the size a little bit 
and add it here align in the center and reduce the size and this is very small make it much bigger maybe this much size still the size is small I'm just going to increase it further this looks okay again align it properly and select these options these three and press ctrl G to group it and move aside a little bit and then select this one rectangle press ctrl D to duplicate it bring the other side and then reduce the size now I'm just going to copy this one press ctrl D and bring it here and then copy all this ctrl D again if you want 3, 4 you can add it so I'm just going to add 3 only and then just click this select this and add one more here and select all these options and move it up add one more circle here in the go to insert shapes select oval shape draw the oval shape and add in the center make it no outline and shape fill give this color press ctrl D add here and ctrl D add one more here and then you can change the color of this fill color I'm going to select maybe green then fill color I will say a purple and I'll use blue and this color also should match with the green color and this will be purple this will be blue and this also will be blue and then you can add the text here and the icons give this uh, circles 3d effect select these three circles right mouse click go to format object under effects 3d format select this one soft round and then add the icons and group this control G to group it and add the text here go to insert text select the text and say headline make it center align increase the size and add it the center and text also I'm going to make it green Control D add here the options with white reduce the font size I'll say this is as option 1 Control D this will be option 2 and this will be option 3 And I'm going to select these options 
and group it control G to group it select the text and this bar group it and this also group it now it's time to do the animations before adding the animation add the detail text here you can add add your text here control D sorry make sure that this is all aligned format align top close the background format and go to animations enable the animation pane first select this and say wipe wipe say from left and then then select this option and say wipe wipe from top and then you make it after previous and then the text should come this also wipe effect from top and after previous so it will something look like this after this select this wipe from left I'm going to use the animation painter select the text animation painter then after this the third op third option and the last text then this also will be wipe from left so if we see on the slideshow when I click it will show you the option 1 then it will show you the option 2 then it will show you the option 3 That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.